Now, I've said that harmony is all about that bass, but melody doesn't go away just because we're dealing with harmony. And so sometimes we want to listen to what the upper voice is doing as well. And so let's talk about voice leading patterns and things that you might tend to hear happening structurally in an upper voice. Let's go to the whiteboard. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to sketch out my, put down my harmony first, my do, do, fa, sol, do. And of course what I've got here is I've got five, three on each of these for now, just nice, solid, stable, consonant five, three chords here. And so up here, I'm just going to write the different notes of a do five, three. So do upper third is me, upper third is sol. Fa, upper third is la, upper third is do. Sol upper third is T, upper third is Re, Do upper third is, of course, Do, Mi, Sol. We've come back to that. In minor, it'd be Do, Me, Sol, Fa, Le, Do, and Do, Me, Sol, of course, in minor. So what we often do is we talk about voice leading patterns, and that is we don't just chunk between chords and write completely unmusically stuff. Do mi sol mi do, fa la do la fa, sol ti re ti sol, do mi sol mi do. That's like the most boring thing in existence. We like things that lead smoothly. We like melodies. We like stepwise motion. We call it parsimonious voice leading, moving by the least amount possible. And so what we actually tend to hear above things is things like do, do, ti, do. That's a voice leading pattern, just like that. Or maybe mi, fa, re, mi. That's a good voice leading pattern. Or maybe sol, la, sol, sol. And so if I were to rewrite all of these to show actual good voice leading, I wouldn't be thinking of them always in order of the pitches, do, mi, sol, fa, la, do, sol, ti, re, we usually think of them more uh, linearly. So let's go ahead and just clear some of the stuff out here. And let's write some good voice leading patterns over this stuff. Sol, la, sol, sol. That's a good voice leading pattern. Mi, fa, re, mi. Good voice leading pattern, mostly stepwise. I did a third skip. Double neighbors, mi, fa, above the mi, and the re, mi, below the mi, and then do, do, ti, do. And this is how we would more likely play these chords on a piano, is we would play them so that we're keeping that voice leading, the, the, the lines, we're thinking of lines moving horizontally more than we're thinking of chords stacked vertically. And however they happen to line up is however they happen to line up. We're, we're really not writing vertical chords. We're really thinking horizontal voice leading. And so just looking at things, so, do, mi, so, la, so, so, that's a good voice. Or so, la, so, mi, that's a good voice. Sol, fa, re, mi, that's a good voice. Sol, fa, re, do, there we go. We almost made it all the way down the scale like that. Mi, do, re, do, mi, do, ti, do, 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 re, do, 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 ti, do. You, you see these horizontal lines are what we tend to hear more often. We don't hear things just jumping between chords. We hear lines. So let's go over to yeah, are inquisitive now and take a listen to some lines. Okay, so we're going to be listening. We're going to be trying to hear do, 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 sol, la, sol, or mi, fa, mi. Let's see what we hear. Da, 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 mi, fa, mi. We're just listening up to the top voice, the melody line. Sol, la, sol. 
da 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 that's do 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 and so just matching up what we hear in the melody thinking of those voice leading patterns is what's going to help us hear that all right and let's take a look at this one we're going to listen to the bass to get the harmony once we know the bass notes then we'll figure out which chords go with the bass and then we're going to listen to the notes in the in the soprano that's the order I, re I recommend doing harmonic dictation and listen to the bass first, figure out your harmony, and then figure out your soprano above that. If you're one of the people who wants to listen to melody first, I don't mind, but I recommend bass first. So I'm gonna listen down to my bass. Oh, that's a great tactus line right there. Do, fa, sol, do. Do, fa, sol, do. Now, go ahead and take the extra step of translating the, the, the actual bass into Roman numerals, because you're gonna, be, you're gonna have to do that somewhere where you transfer to, you're just stuck with it. But, so do is one, fa is four, sol is five, and do, we're back to one. Do, Fa, Sol, Do, Do, Five, Three, Fa, Five, Three, Sol, Five, Three, Do, Five, Three. All right, now we're going to take another listen for soprano. See if we can hear that voice leading line. Dum, bum, 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 Do, and you hear a nice stable Do there. Do, that, that does that stable. You feel the wanting to move down to the T and back to the Do. And so there we go. We, we can dictate the bass line. We can dictate the melody line. And we can translate our bass into Roman numerals for, for places that care about Roman numerals.